Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are taking a break from the Barracuda uh, because we have a different priority for this week and that is this Land Rover. So this Land Rover is a workhorse for our farm and when we bought it, it already had some compression issues. And then while doing like monthly maintenance on the car, someone did not close the air filter box properly and it ended up sucking in sand, which destroyed the turbo and completely bricked the engine. So it's fucked right now. And um, instead of trying to take this engine out, strip it down, fix everything that's wrong, yada, 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 which takes a lot of parts to order and a lot of time to get here because I live in Africa, the easier solution is to just buy a new fucking engine. So the plan of action is take this engine out, take off all the things such as the injectors, the injector pump, the aircon, uh, the alternator, all that stuff, take it off, put it on there, take that, put it in here, and then eventually rebuild this one over time as a spare. So that might sound simple, but this is a diesel engine and I've not worked on diesel engines before. So I'm going to go download a shop manual for this engine. It's a 2.4 liter Puma engine. So yeah, download a shop manual, figure out how to do all this stuff because there is some complicated things such as getting the timing for the injector pump as well as the cams and all that set correctly. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. So the plan of action for tonight for me right now is to just drain the fluids and then tomorrow I'll come and take it out and take it apart and get that engine out and see what gaskets I need because our local Land Rover part supply does not have a full gasket kit in stock. Don't know when they'll get one in, but they do have individual gaskets and stuff. So I just need to get all of us out and off and whatever and look at that engine and get all the gaskets I need. Then we can start transferring everything over while the injectors and the injector pump go for testing. And then we'll put it back together and get it back in. Because the problem is that engine uh, literally comes with, I think, a head gasket and a sump gasket. There's no front cover gasket. There's no front oil seal. There's no rear main oil seal. Fuck all. It doesn't come with anything. No manifold gaskets, nothing. So I have to go buy a bunch of gaskets. So fingers crossed, I can actually get all of them. But uh, yeah, that's a plan for this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it, even though it's uh, something different. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned.
Okay, so quick intermission um, before we get on with the video. Engine is out and that is over there and that is very dirty. Um, it's not very good lighting here, but maybe you can see the uh, lots and lots of gunk and shit built up. Um, wait, let me show you on this thing instead here. You can see it quite well. Like, look at that. That's about two, three millimeters worth of shit built up inside. It's a miracle that this mass airflow sensor was still working. But anyways, that's how the entirety of the inside of a cylinder lid looks. Um, so we didn't really have too much issues getting all of this stuff off, like not a lot of broken bolts or stuck bolts or all that. Most of the things were like hand tied, to be honest, um, aluminum block and all that. Oh, there was one bolt <laughs> that we couldn't get off right at the end. It was the very last bolt we were trying to undo. And uh, of course, it's in the worst place possible. The crank pulley, yeah, not great. Stripped the head, so can I have to make a plan to get that out? Bit of a pain in the ass and unfortunate. But what is weird to me is like how long these pulley bolts are and how deep they go in, you know? So they're so long and only like this bit of a thread actually goes into something. So that's a very weird design. I don't really get it, to be honest. And it's kind of silly because if you do break a bolt off or something, your crank is essentially useless because how the fuck are you going to get it out if it threads in that deep? So yeah, need to make a plan to get that bolt out and the pulley off and then need to get a new bolt. Need to clean all of this shit up uh, before we put it back on the engine. Also wash the engine bay because I don't want to put dirty stuff on a clean engine. Also, don't want to put old stuff on a new engine. So got new clutch kit, everything, new thrust bearing or release bearing for the clutch, whatever you like to call it. Bunch of gaskets and stuff. Uh, there should be, yeah. Bunch of gaskets and stuff, some oil, all that jazz. So new stuff. Oh, also need to clean the injector pump or the diesel pump. Um, and also the injectors needs to be tested. But looking at them, um, <laughs> I doubt they're going to make spec. And also, like the idiot I am, we just ripped these injectors out when we were stripping the engine. And uh, <laughs> we were supposed to mark them because apparently these injectors are coded and then encoded onto the ECU so that it can like compensate for its variations in performance. So, yeah, um, going to be a bit of a pain because if they do... Uh, pass the spec and we put them back in the ECU will have to be recoded because if you put them in different holes then the ECU is going to mess everything up for the fueling so yeah but honestly looking at them <laughs> I doubt they're going to pass and we're probably going to have to put in new ones anyways and recode the ECU anyways um, but that's something I can't do I don't have the computers or the diagnostic tools to do stuff like that so we'll finish that get some smart uh, mechanic nerd with a computer to come recode that and uh yeah that's basically the plan so let's get to it so this is gonna take way longer than i thought it would so cleaning the intake manifold right now and look at all that shit it's a literal pile of gunk so yeah gonna take forever damn
Goed gedaan, af en start weer. Het nou wees. Ja, die diesel is mooi, Fox Silicone. Ja, die vang net vol. Mooi om net zo. Is die alarm sy fuse nog uit? Hy is in. Oh. Ah, sy. Geen kakkie. Oh, hey. Mooi. As you guys can see, we have a driving car. So, finally, got it done. Um, just quickly taking it so that I can, uh, taking it to someone to encode the new injectors onto the ECU because they have like special serial numbers or whatever and need to update the ECU so that you get fuel correct. But um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this video then. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.